Hello everyone, Ray from Pro String with another uh, racket restringing tutorial. Uh, today's racket, uh, as you can see, is a badminton racket. It is, to be exact, an Astrox 99 badminton racket. Uh, I believe it's 22 by 21 stringing pattern. Definitely 22, but let's just confirm the crosses uh, to be safe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 cross strings. Here we go, guys. Badminton rackets always start from the bottom of the racket. That's the only way to start. Unless there's something I have not seen before, which wouldn't surprise me this day and age. So many different kind of companies trying to come up with the next best, best uh, racket or marketing or whatever it might be. But for now, as far as I know, we always start from the bottom. We will be using Aerobyte, the Yonex Aerobyte strings, which comes with two different thicknesses or gauges of strings. Uh, we are using the um, thicker string for the mains, which is the best way to do things normally, and the thinner strings on the crosses. As you can see, I'm just, all I'm doing is measuring up my strings, putting them together. I've already cut one nice angled end or sharp end, so that way it's easier to get the string through. And just as this, run the strings through your fingers. There you have it. I'm gonna tighten my clamps a little bit because my last racket was a tennis racket. Most clamps will have a little wheel on the back side of it and you need to regulate your uh, clamps depending on what thickness of strings you're using, which will vary massively between uh, squash tennis uh, and badminton. Um, so make sure there's a little bit of a jingle on your badminton, uh, badminton machine. Uh, on your mounting system uh, the client has requested 24 pounds of tension which is a balance between control and power uh, on most badminton rackets do check and see what your um, very important very important that you do check and see what uh, what your max tension is on the badminton rackets and they tend to come just over here on the inside part one side or the other, of course, um, of your bat of the badminton rackets, and this suggests uh, a highest tension of 28 pounds. <clears throat> so we're not not close to that highest tension. Um, I don't really recommend going over the recommended tension. I you know, that's there's a reason they are recommending it. If you go a pound over, maybe it should be okay. Maybe two as well. I have been asked for that in the past. I do say you, you know, if you recommend your racket is recommended this. If the racket breaks, it is. Uh, I want you to take full responsibility, and I'll make sure they write that in a text message, uh, just so they, you know, that we have it in writing, and then nobody can say to me, "Oh, but you said I didn't say, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. So when you're starting off your mains, you need to be compensating to each side, taking as much stress off of the frame as possible. So in this case, and every racket's case, uh, at least for me, three strings to each side. Three, three, what's going on with my watch here? It's making some vibration. It just cut off a short cycle. Three and three, guys. And going back to when you're setting your racket on the machine, make sure there's a bit of space, but also make sure there's not too much. Uh, badminton rackets are very fragile, guys. You have to be super careful. Um, when you finish your racket, if you're struggling to untighten your uh, wheels or knobs, that means you have put the racket on the machine far too tight, which you're at risk of breaking it or or turning its uh, original shape, so deforming the racket. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so 
be careful with that. So I'm on my fifth main string. We will be doing a four knot two pieces stringing job for this racket because I don't have a choice. My go-to setup is a one piece two, two knots. Surely it takes a little bit less time and less string wastage. Um, not all that much more string required, but yes, um, time-wise is quicker. In this case, of course, I don't have a choice. This is a hybrid. Um, well, maybe not exactly a hybrid, but it's using two different types of strings. Well, not types, they're both multi-filament. Using two different thicknesses, should I say. Because both strings are very similar. There isn't a hard string and a soft string in this combo. Always check your grommets. I checked this before the video, uh, and even then, sometimes uh, you know you, you start stringing, and sometimes it's easier or more noticeable to find your broken or cracked grommets if there are any, of course, which I'm really not seeing any at all, despite having looked already. I'm just looking around the frame as I go along, and everything looks in pretty pretty good condition, grommet-wise. Grommets, guys, are the little circle, the little black things you put your strings through and those is what protects the string from the frame. Uh, frames of course are hard and um, if you haven't got these little plastic bits inside you will probably rip the string or break the string when you're pulling it. So I have as you can see this little loop here that is a main string that's going to cover my last top cross string so therefore I'm going to put a little stringing aid in there. So this is a piece of tennis polyester string also known as copolyester model filament. <clears throat> and this one is also going to cover a cross string as you can probably see here. So we're gonna grab another little piece of string, which I have already cut up, and I always reuse the same ones, kind of, until they really get worn out or flattened, more so the case. So the stringing aids are really helpful, guys. Um, it does give you that little bit of space between uh, the main strings that are covering your crosses. It kind of elevates ever so slightly your uh, main string that loops around. And here it is again. Add myself a little stringing aid. Probably use a badminton string, squash string to your choice. I find that these are my go-to kind of best solution. quite a few badminton rackets as you probably notice slowly but surely getting up uh, more and more videos on YouTube the badminton rackets I like to think that I've probably already strung most models at least once even the most of the uncommon ones I've got rackets come in in the past Oof, probably from before the 2000s so 1990 rackets which are incredibly worse than the new stuff in the modern racket. Tennis and squash and badminton as well. But I find that badminton even, even more so, even more noticeable. Um, it's just gonna slide. So I'm sliding there. I'm gonna pull this string again. I'm upping my tension, 15%, but anywhere between 15 and 20 is recommended. Every time you are going to tie a finishing knot, not a starting knot, just a finishing knot. A starting knot, the machine or your tension head normally takes good care of that. No need to add more tension because you're not losing tension on those. But yes, it's common to lose tension on your finishing knots. But don't get obsessed with tightening that string with the machine or you know, tightening it super hard, especially on a badminton racket or bad with badminton string. 
you will rip the knot and your mainstring probably. So, as you can see here, just very softly, this is a Parnell knot, just softly. You know, don't go over the top because you may rip the string. And then be out of pocket because you have to buy your client or yourself even a new string. There you go. I've up my tension, I just press a button here. That's why you guys probably don't see it. Uh, I have an LED screen, I just press the button and it ups my tension. I have it programmed at 15%. And thinking about changing it to 20 and have been for a while, but I just feel like I don't need 20%, at least on this machine. Okay. There you have it. The main strings complete. I love the way the batons and strings sound on your mains when they're strung uh, tightly. Check my camera, make sure everything is all right. 10%. How did that happen? 10% only left. Oh dear of me. I'm gonna see if we can get a charger going here. Apologies guys, I'm just gonna try to charge my phone a little bit. I left it charging, but it looks like it didn't charge for some reason. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that machine, we've got two machines here. Make sure I unplug the right one. Hopefully this reach if we have an extra one cable here. Oh dear, yeah, we're good. It's gonna reach. I just assumed my camera was good with battery. Oh, got that wrong. Or I have a problem with my charger. I don't know. Should we zoom in a bit more? Would that be helpful? All right, we'll leave it there. Let me know. Go, let me know what you uh, what you guys think about this camera angle as well, please. Uh, if you can see everything well, I mean, I go back always and check, but you know, from a from a viewer's point of view, let me know what your thoughts are on the uh, camera angle. Can it be improved? Is that as good as it's gonna get? I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get, unless I hang it from the ceiling, which I've been thinking about ways how to do that. But if I hang it from the ceiling, then I have to either use it in selfie mode. I mean, that would be an interesting thing altogether and how I would be doing that. But I do have a couple of ideas for it without drilling holes, etc. Anyway, thoughts for a later day. Let's keep it simple for now, seeing that I'm just starting out. See if there's actually uh, people that will subscribe to this channel. So if you're liking the content so far, guys, if it's been any use at all, please uh, share the love. I will keep to... Uh, I'll keep uploading videos, uh, at least for the start. Let's see how this all uh, plans out. Uh, here you go, you can see I'm doing my little knot on the outside of the frame, guys. Yes, on the outside. Don't tie your knot on the anchor string or any main string. Because the knot tends to slide quite a bit. And you'll see in a moment, I will be Pulling two strings at once just for my first uh, pull. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've tied my knots on my eighth string. I am therefore going to go through my first cross string in a shared hole, as you can see there. My main, my ninth main, is where most Yonex badminton rackets start. Or so. Ninth main, which is a main and a cross, as you can see, it's a main and a cross as well. Shared holes. The first three are, uh, first three? Well, the first two for sure. 
are generally shared across and main string holes. As you see, I'm bringing that string up and down, up and down, avoiding as much friction as possible. So there you go. And now I'm going to pull one more system called stringing one ahead yes it's the third one I'm I'm uh, weaving surely because I know that now I'm gonna pull two strings instead of one so I'm treating it like a single pull despite pulling two strings so my cross string here is incredibly thin I'll, I'll put the tension up a little bit because I'm pulling two my knot will go in a little bit. Looks safe. Has, I wouldn't say gone into the grommet. It stopped just before kind of going into the grommet. Or I guess if you feel, if you don't feel safe about it, uh, do yourself a favor and do a third knot just to be safe. But I know that this works for me at least. Sorry guys, phone call. Good afternoon, Pro String. Uh, which location are we look, looking to drop off at? Yeah. 69 Old Broad Street. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, no, you don't need an appointment. You can drop, uh, drop off uh, any time between Monday and Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. unannounced. Um, so that's not, no, no issues there. Um, so yeah, that's fine. The receptionist will provide you with labor upstairs on the 17th floor on arrival. Um, and just, yeah, just if you need any, any uh, advice on what type of strings you'd like or anything that, that would be on this number as the receptionist or just normal office receptionist. So yeah. Not a problem. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. There you guys go. That's how uh, <laughs> I answer the phone. So like I was saying before, or if I haven't mentioned, sidetracked with that phone call, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 tension increase on your crosses. Probably 0 0.2 kg, I'd like to think. Maybe 0 0.3. Alexa, 0 0.5 times 2.2. 0 0.5 times 2.2 .2 is 1.1. I think I did that the wrong, the wrong way around. I'm supposed to divide it, sorry. One, one kilo is 2.2 pounds, so I need to divide that, sorry. Alexa, 0 0.5 divided into 2.2. 2. 0 0.5 divided by 2.2 2 is approximately 0 0.2273. There you go, 0 0.2, I was right. <clears throat> well, not the, not the most difficult maths. You know, it's about half. Half pounds is half kilos is. How would I say that? Kilos is about half the value in pounds. But it's 2.2, .2, so almost half, but not quite, so. Get rid of my knot, the excess string of my knot. my string up
1 p.m. UK London time. Haven't had lunch yet. Just starting to think about it now. <clears throat> Maybe this one and then lunch and a few more before I pick up my first child from nursery, which reminds me about something else. So, as you may notice, I have quite a few videos, considering the amount of time I started. I, do, I did start a few videos during lockdown, uh, sheerly out of boredness. Um, but also, I did have a couple frames for people to uh, potentially learn from. But of course, during COVID, during lockdowns, at least there was no racket flow. I was just getting a few drips and drabs of people who had private courts or communal private courts. Um, so the idea behind these videos is to uh, help you guys with as many different models as possible as well. So I haven't told you um, how many, so I like to tell you guys, try to remember at least this, tell you how many holes you have to skip um, at the top and the bottom. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shared hole nine, shared hole 10, skip 11th shared hole however the top should be probably different i'd imagine one two three four five six seven skip one eight skip one nine skip one ten which will be a shared hole very shortly and then 12 so skip one 12 also shared hole i think it's not 12 i meant 11 right one, two, three, four, five, six, skip one, seven, skip one, eight, skip one, nine, skip one, ten, which will be a shared hole, skip one, eleven, which is also going to be a shared hole right now, actually. Very thin string, that's a shared hole, and that's incredibly easy how it went through. Again, guys, two different thicknesses of strings here with the arrow bite. I believe it's the air bite, is it the aerosonic air bite? Yeah. But this very string, thin string I'm using now, if I'm not mistaken, is the uh, aerosonic, and the main sh string is the air bite. If I'm not mistaken, let's see if I can find some additional writing on this. There we go, we got some. Yeah, here we go, Yonex Aerosonic. So the Aerobite, it's called Aerobite, this, uh, this string in itself the, on the packaging. However, the Aerobite is your main string and your Aerosonic is your cross string. Just pull down that main string a little bit there in order to uh, get the string across with ease. As you can see, it's nice and easy. But I had a main string covering the hole there, as you can probably see it this side as well. I'm gonna see if you guys can see it from this angle. I try to do it without knocking over the camera. So what I do is I just pull the string up a little bit and there you go, as it's covering my, my cross hole. shared hole but this one's quite large no, no issues there as you saw <clears throat> keep that string in place don't let the string go upwards like that you want the strings to be nice and straight 
as straight as possible, at least when you're stringing. And obviously, when you finish, you always have to adjust a little bit normally. Or if you're just starting out, it's very likely you have to adjust a lot. And we're gonna go over and under, and so on and so on. Always opposite to your top string. Everything's always opposite in stringing. No two lines or two weaves should match each other. Very thin strings will come out tighter than normal. So to set an example, if this is 24 by 24 and a half, what I'm doing now, it, may came, it might come out to even be like a pound, a pound, maybe two tighter, pound, pound and a half. I'd like to think from experience. And my next weave is completely covered here. issues as you're starting out you will find that the, the, the main strings do cover a lot of holes and it is frustrating annoying there you go that one was okay though despite the exact same side of the place on the other side of the racket it wasn't being wasn't as easy to get it through be careful with your string if it's trying to tangle itself just unravel it Untangle it. There's a few Astrox uh, versions that don't completely uh, give me space, either because of my grommet or just the way the racket's made, very tight. I'm hoping it'll be okay. I have snapped a few different strings before, but I'm pretty much done for forcing the clamp up into the string. Uh, so be careful with that as well. If your clamps are not fitting, either be patient or find another solution. Sometimes I will come through my last hole and then finish the second last, well, last, the last main and come back down and tighten the, the second last one with the last one. So pulling two strings at once again. Okay. So I think I'm gonna be okay, but I mean, it's, that's gonna be incredibly tight. I'll show you guys what I mean. Hopefully I'm not. <coughs> I mean, for my own selfish purpose, I hope it fits, but it will show you guys probably uh, a good little tip, especially if you're using this machine. So I'm already, no, I'm already, I already know what's gonna happen. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go through it. A bit more annoying for me and you know what it might fit let's see i want to try if you don't try you don't know sometimes but i'm pretty sure i've done this racket oh, far too many times <coughs> however see i already know so look let's see will it fit oh, see this is the problem so my last little clamp here is already i can see it's touching the, sh the racket so if i push through of two things are going to happen, or both. I'm going to scratch the racket on the inside, or I'm going to snap the string if I force it. And then I don't have much space. Even if I pull the string down, let's see, is that a hold? Oh, that, that held, fantastic. The only thing is, I didn't put my tension up. Let's see, let's see. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay. A lot of times I don't get that lucky, but for some reason, okay, I, I, pull, I pulled the string slightly down, which helped. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's good, very good actually. <coughs> Always trying to avoid pulling two strings at once, but I've, I've done it before because I guess depending how I put the racket on the machine as well, I'll have a little bit more space and I'm talking about one centimeter, two centimeter. My Parnell knot. Don't pull the string tight, especially with this string setup. Okay, perfect. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. 
nasty cough. <coughs> right, my bad. Pull my stringing aids all out. Very happy with this job. Probably a good example to set right now is, <coughs> sorry. You can see no crossovers, the strings in itself. Um, it's all very clean aesthetically. All right, guys. <clears throat> At the bottom as well. No crossovers here. Aesthetically speaking, looks good. And here as well. Looks good to me. Just gonna put my mate, my string back over. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said before, hopefully that the racket comes off nice and easy off the racket like it just did for me. If not, you know you're <coughs> putting the string far too tight on the machine. Nice, great sound. And I always say it, music to my ears, especially badminton's. Straighten up your strings, guys. Make it look nice and professional. <clears throat> but this is where you want to avoid moving the strings around too much. If they are very wavy, that means you need to hold that string in place a bit tighter when you're pulling your strings. Thanks again, guys. Hopefully there was some useful knowledge for you. Um, thanks for tuning in. And uh, to the next video. Happy stringing, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.